In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable DLDSR, stands for Deep Learning Dynamic Super Resolution. If you're not already aware, it's a form of running the game at a higher resolution. It then handles the downsampling to output at your native resolution. We'll go through and I'll show you how to turn it on in the NVIDIA control panel as well as the NVIDIA app. And then we'll jump into a game and I'll show you what you need to set in game to take advantage of it. Two different ways we can turn on uh, DLDSR. We can either use the NVIDIA control panel or we can use the NVIDIA app. I'll show you how to do both. So let me open up my start menu and type in NVIDIA and I'll select NVIDIA control panel. On the left hand side you want to select manage 3D settings then select the global settings tab and then if you come down you should see an option for DSR factors. You want to click this and you want to find the one that says DL scaling and just tick the options under that and then click OK. Below that you can once you do enable that you'll see the option for DSR smoothness. I wouldn't touch this this is more tied into the legacy scaling. It does change things under DL as well, but the DL does a great job straight out the box. You don't need to worry about the smoothness, but you can tweak that later if you're not happy with how clear the image is. Your screen's gonna flicker a bunch when you click apply, just give it a sec and then you can close that down. Now, if you wanna enable it using the NVIDIA app, you do the same thing, open up your start menu, type in NVIDIA, find the NVIDIA app, open that up, select graphics on the left hand side, go into global settings, and then you'll see DSR factors in here as well. And you'll get the exact same options. Because I just enabled it in my control panel, you can see it's picked that up and it already knows that it's enabled in here but you can use either one of these applications to do it. Now, before we jump into a game, it's great just to make sure that it actually worked. So to see this, open up your settings, go to system, click display, come down to where it says display resolution and click it. And now you can see, despite the screen that I'm on at the moment being natively 1440p, which is what's recommended, you can see the two DLDSR factors are now both listed as resolution options that I can set this monitor to. You don't want to change it in Windows, but that is a way that you can know that DLDSR is actually enabled and working fine. All right, here we are in Cyberpunk 2077. I'm getting around 63 FPS in this particular location, and I'm running at native 1440p. So let's enable the new resolution from DLDSR, which is 4K, and click Apply. Great, now you can see my FPS has tanked down to 29 FPS, and same location, it's just now it's rendering everything at 4K and then it's outputting it at 4K on my 1440p display, creating a much sharper, cleaner image. But now we need to enable DLSS to counter the performance hit of rendering at 4K. So now we're going to go back into my settings. I'm going to go to my graphics, going to change resolution scaling to DLSS super resolution and then change it to quality level and click apply. Now my FPS goes to about 57, and that is much more in line with what it was when I had it set natively to 1440p, except my image quality is much sharper and cleaner because I have a lot more pixels to work with thanks to DLDSR. All right, a few points just to wrap this up. Um, it only works on the full screen, so keep that in mind. If you can't see the resolution, your game is probably not in proper full screen. Um, it looks good at 1080p or 1440p. At 4K, though, it's not worth enabling. You'll hit a point of diminishing returns. You have less aliasing at that resolution to clean up in the first place. And your performance impact will be bigger because you're multiplying it by a higher number of base pixels. So keep in mind, I wouldn't suggest using it at 4K, but play around with it by all means. Um, and lastly, if you're missing the option for DLDSR, there is a known issue with NVIDIA and display stream compression where a bunch of features get removed, including DLDSR. I have a video about DSC here, um, but go check that out if you happen to have a DSC monitor or if you think you have a DSC monitor or even if you're in the market for a new monitor and you don't want to get one that could potentially be affected by this problem. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.